Hey guys and welcome back to Nemoria. I am Stijo and this is the Holy Slip. Let's fight ahead. Uh, get double time. Double time, bitches. <laughs> You're not getting paid double time. No, I want you to move double time. That's groany. I still can't believe that this little fucker is still alive. He's missing foot. I'm gonna have to shoot him. I'll, like dig a hole, fill it with water or something. That's mean. Mean but effective. Um, right. F <laughs> the reason I say that it'd be nice if he was dead is basically because he's taken up a gnome slot and he's fucking useless. And I don't like useless people. Seems pretty much done. I mean. I could set the rest of the stuff, I really can't be bothered. All the beds are in though, um, did, did I actually have, go on game, did I actually have someone set up to be a medic and a caretaker? I did! So look at that, oh, saving. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here. I was thinking if I should make the hospital in here or if I should make a hospital in, out here. I'm going to make a hospital out here. Terrain, mine, wall. Uh, that one and then... Three... Five, seven, nine... 11. Let's make it 11 by 7. I'll fire a load of beds in it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. What's my miners doing? Oh, that's all going there. What was it? Oh, yeah, I told him to clear cut that so we had some stuff. Huh? Honey badger skull. Oh, that must have been when the um Oh unless there was a honey badger out here that got fucking brutally murdered. No. Oh no. Perhaps I was. I just wasn't paying attention. Chop 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 chop. Um right, okay, what we're doing? Building furniture, big Birch four poster beds. Hey. <laughs> Some other miner decided that he wanted a go of that one. There we go, congratulations. Um, we'll just see how this works out. Click, god damn you! There we go, and then we'll have a stockpile in the middle and that's going to be a hospital bandages bandages is that right bandages oh god man my brain is just not working i've been like super tired bandage yeah i was right i've been like super tired all fucking day for no reason whatsoever uh so i'm build storage crates pine crate there, we want 64, we want 96. More bandages getting made. So we've got 64 bandages getting made now. If we want another 96, that takes us up to 164. Is that right? That can't be right. 160. Bump. Want them constantly making 160 bandages. That's a lot of goddamn bandages. Oh, Crony. <laughs> Doing his best to bring in that sapling. And these things still aren't, still aren't made. Although, unfortunately, we've asked him to make something else again. Can I, like, throw the bellows up near the top? Oh, God. Nope, but again. <clears throat> 
I need to wait until the beds are placed before I can designate that as an actual uh, hospital. So, the reason I built it there is plenty of room for expansion, plus I can pull this down further if I want to build stuff here. Always remember I've got like higher up that I can build as well, it's not just, I'm not just limited to this floor, obviously. Uh, build furniture statues. The annoying thing right now is that my military are, uh, they're in a weird sleeping pattern where they're sleeping at night, which is shit. Well, this guy here has got his own personal room, so Solo's got his own personal room, so he might actually have a better sleeping pattern. I don't want to get attacked when um, we're in the middle of the night. Although I did find out where you make the alarms, it's in the blacksmith. Uh, alarm bell, there you go. Two bars, two blanks, alarm, and it can be triggered with a lever. Which is pretty cool. Oh, at your head. Also, it's been confirmed that in the future they're going to make uh, mechanisms which reset traps, which although we've not showed any traps yet on this series, uh, and I've not actually messed about traps at all in Nomoria, um, that's going to be epic, because like one issue that I've seen that happen to quite a lot of people is when your guys go out to reset a trap in the middle of a fight and end up getting destroyed. That shouldn't really happen to us with the use of militia. Actually, how's the tinkering going? Invention progress. I should probably. What is it that Growny does? Because whatever it is, he's not doing it very good. Stonemason. Sorry, Growny, you're now an engineer. Blaine the second, and he's a pretty good tinkerer now. I mean, you can stay on that. We don't use the Stonemason that much, to be perfectly honest. Ah, yes, they're back up. Not like it matters, because if we were going to get attacked by goblins, it would have happened by now. Uh, unfortunately, the production of these four poster beds has kind of slowed everything else down. Oh, well, that doesn't really matter that much. Oh, we're on the ninth day of winter, surviving well. 180 food left, 387 uh, drink. The yaks are doing fine. Um, as I said before, we could do moving a lot of this about. Mm, kind of annoys me. <laughs> The way it is just now. Oh, that was a very sudden fucking music change there. Jesus Christ, game. Be a bit more subtle next time. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's copper rose. Oh, that's pretty cool. We actually have too much ore now. And we need overflow crates. That's humorous. That means that all the the twos are done now if they're starting to go into the fives. That's pretty good. That's pretty badass. Ah now he's making uh is he making pine now? Yeah, he's making pine planks now that told me to make some more things. Uh because that must have been like whatever I've just put there must have been pushed to the top. I don't like that. Whatever. I mean, I suppose it's kind of helpful. I also don't like this, the fact that we've got like a bazillion fucking training noise. <laughs> the game is so bugged sometimes. Not bugged, but uh, not game ba not game breakingly bugged, let's put it that way. Just doesn't work quite as intended. Um, we have got a couple of bed frames there. Yeah, things are moving on quite nicely just now though. Everything's getting casually done. Like, there's no there's no rush about these fellows apparently. The sooner that this is done, the sooner we'll be flying up in the amounts of gnomes that we actually have. More gnomes, more stuff gets done, basically. Although, as I says, we're now actually catching up with stuff. I mean, look, he's moving the dot out of the Great Hall. Um, 
yeah, stuff's getting done, like, things are getting moved to where they should be. Areas are getting filled up, we're actually going into the second areas of stuff now. Which is just plain ridiculous. And people are being able to be as efficient as possible because of these stockpiles. If you look at the... This is Dimp the Jeweler. Prospecting and just... Flings things back and forth. We are going to need to leave this guy, because... Me constantly telling him to do this stuff is just not working. So we're gonna have to leave this guy so that he can actually get stuff done so we can get weapons and armors constructed for these guys. Why is there a ball peen? Oh yeah, ball peen hammer must be for one of these. Uh, plus we need to go mining. Hmm, where would I put my mine shaft entrance? Probably like right here, so that it's not like miles in. Probably just right at the fucking entrance. Yeah, at least that way that people faster get their food and drink. Um, not necessarily the fastest to go to the stockpiles, but it means that the army and in inverted commas here can uh, get down there quickly. How's the drinks doing? Yeah, I've got some wines. That's good. Let's see how the food. Whoops. Food should still be pretty fine. Yeah, 127 sandwiches. So yeah, it may seem like we've got not an extraneous amount of food, but it is all sandwiches. So like that, the quality of the food is a lot higher, so it doesn't get eaten as quickly. Finally, he's back on to making the apple wood. I don't think we're actually making anything out of apple wood that would cause uh, this to be slowing anything down. So that's pretty good. We must have we must have enough bed frames now, I suppose. Yeah, that would run out much. Probably, I've probably run out much to be honest. Items, goods, logs. Yeah, no much. Um. Blanks, it's definitely no birch. Is there any swathes of birch out here that we could cut down? Ah, oh, fucking loads. Agriculture, fell trees, just take a chunk of that birch, please. Which is slightly issues because if we get attacked tonight, then these guys are going to be right in the fucking middle of it. There's still some apple wood up here. Ah, there we go. One of the carpenters mustn't be needed right now, so he's went out to chop some wood. The rain has stopped, and the golem's been spotted. Oh, fuck. That's five golems have been spotted. Wow. That's not good. Uh, Seiko got smacked with a birch log right in the throat and died. And Herb died fucking early. Yeah, Goblin stabbed him with a copper sword right through the heart. Shit. Oh, Blaine the Third has died. Rick Veenbergen's died. Arnob has died. Oh my god. I need to be a bit more careful of a night time apparently. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, that is bad. That is bad news. We now have no more smelter. Um, or medic. So we need another, we need a blacksmith. Huh, apparently it was the other engineer that died, I think Psycho was the other engineer. Oh well, there you go, you've now got your, your position. 
so we lost Blaine the third, who I think he was a rancher. We lost a Let's see who's got the most out of these two. Uh, skills at Blacksmithing's 11. Let's just go with that. Seem to be his highest one of those. Actually, who's got the highest weaving and tailoring? Spastica. Right, so no name, gnome. You are my new blacksmith. Unfortunately. Um, and we don't really need a medic right now. God. We need to add all of the deceased to my list of people that need reincarnation. Uh, well that's a crying shame. I don't know why people are going to these ones. Like, are these ones seriously ran out? Oh, 23. Ah, God. Okay guys, with that hideous ton of events there and the harsh lesson that I need to not tell my guys to go outside the walls of a night time. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to call it an episode there. If you've managed to watch this far, uh, please remember just to drop a little like. It does tell me that you're enjoying the episode and that I should continue to make more. And as always, thanks a lot for watching guys and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.